Uh, welcome back to the Menza Shed, uh, a think tank talk show uh, where nothing is off limits, um, except for the women. Um, today I am joined by George Christensen, the member for um, Dawson, <laughs> and uh, my old employer, um, Rupert Murdoch. And I'm still your boss, Tony. Remember, we had a deal. Australia needs Tony. Well, you're still my employee. You still write columns for my papers. And that's a deal that will continue on, at least for the duration of the rest of your life. And, and so is Peter. Um, if only the ABC was this diverse with its talent pool. Hey, Tony. Is that the Virgin Mary? No, uh, um, that's Peter and Her Majesty, um, the only two women who are allowed here in the Menza Shed. Oh, yeah, have you got a number? <laughs> uh, well, I've just arrived back from India with some big trade talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Um, a man who is a hero to his people, um, just as I was with my 2014 budget. So did you bring back any girls or guns or ivermectin? No, uh, um, just this gift bag. Yeah, good, because every shop needs to open up in Australia. Like, every brothel in my electorate is closed. Well, I haven't had a shower in weeks. So, you know, my free speech is under attack. You know, I got up in Parliament and told everybody that, and then I'm not being heard. So, uh, I've decided that Australia needs to forget China and concentrate on selling our coal and uranium to India. Yeah, I saw that picture on your social media where, you know, that red dot on your head. Was that painted on there, or would they use a temp check gun like this one? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, buggering up your camera. <laughs> uh, also, my daughter had a son last month and, uh, uh, as requested, has been faxing me photos of him every week. <laughs> yeah, I probably have a son by now. <laughs> yes, I had a son too, but I lost him to the left. <laughs> Die, hippie scum. <laughs> <laughs> Free speech. Fair enough then. A quick check of the news now and a fake doctor has been charged and facing jail time after practising as a doctor in a Sydney hospital for the last eight months. Oh, who cares if she's qualified, if she's hot and she's done some research on YouTube, you know, I could be a doctor. Doctors are overrated. Like, not one doctor has given me advice that I've ever listened to. Except for that one bloke that said you only need to take half of the blue tablet at a time. Uh, well, we are all out of time for this edition. Um, did everybody remember to fill out their census forms? Yeah, I didn't disclose the girl who got hidden in the garage in the spare bedroom, but... <laughs> Rupert, what did you select? As your religion? I selected other. Please specify immortal, except I left the T out. Uh, well, I selected Catholic, of course, and uh, George, what did you select as your religion? Uh, YouTube. Well, that's it for this edition. Join me next week when I will have a chat with um, the Prime Minister. Uh, and also I will show you some new technology that I have discovered in my wife's laundry, including um, dryer, dryer, eh. all right.